What is up you guys? It's your girl Clithia and today I'm back with another video. Today I am going to be doing my nails with the Kiss Kit I reviewed um, as you guys seen in the last video. So we're not going to use everything in here because I have some of these things already that I've been using. So I have this one already and I've been using it already, this acrylic. So there's no need to open that one. Um, I do need the monomer. I don't need the glue. I have um, two glues over here I've been going back and forth from, so don't need the glue. We're going to give this Apple Fresh stuff a try. Um, if it makes the acrylic yellow, it's okay because I am painting over it. Um, I have some of this, but it is like a little messed up. <clears throat> Sorry. So we're going to need the primer. Um, we don't need the buffer, and we don't need the dampen dish. I have my own buffer. Um, we're gonna take, we're gonna take this completely out because we need to figure out what size tips we need. So I might not use the file either because <clears throat> I already have two good files. Um, but I am gonna use the brush. I'm gonna use the brush. Um, and we're gonna use the stick to push back our cuticles, which is the first step. So we are gonna follow the steps. Um. I have a napkin here also. So the first step is um, prepping your nails. Clean nails of any polish. I don't have any polish on or oil. I have no oil on my nails. With nail polish remover, trim and file the free edge of your nails. I have no nails. Push back cuticles with manicure stick. Gently roughen the entire nail surface using the fine side of file. This will ensure maximum adhesive or strip. All right, so. Don't mind my desk, it, I know. So we're gonna use this um, to push back our cuticles. And I am gonna do both hands. So yeah, um, well I do actually have oils on my hands because um, my mom just flat ironed my hair so I had put in a ponytail. So you know, oils and grease that come off your hair. So I'm gonna finish pushing back my cuticles and I'll be back. All right, so now you need to roughen up the the uh, your nail, and I'm not using the file uh, the kit came with. I'm just gonna use one of the files I have laying around. So I'm gonna do this to all the nails. Now that we have done that, they want us to size our nails. So I am gonna be using the the natural ones. So hopefully uh, I can get the shape I want out of these. I want to do a tapered square kind of shape so that's what i'm going for so i'm gonna go ahead and size all 10 of my fingers i have my tips ready and now um you're supposed to glue them on so and press down for five seconds so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm just gonna show you guys how i'm gluing them on so i put the glue in the middle and i don't use a lot oops it's not coming out hold up all right so get about that much and I spread it around and these are not supposed to fit the whole nail you're supposed to just press it down at an area um, in the middle of your nail and then um, the glue is oozing out so you want to press down Oops. yeah so you're not going to be able to glue it all the way down at the bottom because these are not those type of tips. So you'll fill that in with the acrylic, of course. So that's the first nail. And it, these do have a little curve to it. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to do the rest of my fingers. Alright guys, so I got all of the tips on. Now of course we're going to cut these down because I do not want them this long. And like I said, I want to go for like a square tapered shape. I don't even know if that's going to work out because these do curve a little bit. So I'm just going to try my best. But um, I'm using this straight edged clipper. I just got this yesterday. Um, Alright, so this is the one. Don't mind my arm, I'm sorry. It came with a little one also. And the little one is curved. You can see the difference. So this one's curved. And I usually 
well, I always have these type of clippers. So I've been looking for this type, the straight one, that can you can easily help cut your nail. So I'm going to try to shape these with um, this clipper. And I'm going to use the files I already have to file them to the shape I want. So um, I'll come back once I have the shape I like. Okay guys, so this is the shape. Um, they didn't come out that tapered and like skinny because these tips are like wide. But hopefully once the acrylic gets on them and I do more fouling, they'll look a little better. So this is actually my first time doing both hands the same way and at the exact same time. So hopefully um, these turn out good. So <clears throat> now we need to put on the primer. And the primer goes on your um, on your natural nail. Um, so I'm just gonna put it in like the pockets that's right there that um, the acrylic will eventually meet. If you can hear the TV, um, it's in my brother's room. It's right on the back of this wall that my desk is up against. So, I can't do anything about it. So, now that we have that done, I'm going to move this paper and get our napkin ready. Oh my gosh, it's loud too. I can't wait to use this brush. So, we're going to go ahead and put some monomer in our damping dish. And this is not the new one that came with the kit. This is the one I already had. Um, the reason why I'm not using the new one is because uh, there's really no need. Uh, this one's just fine. I am going to clean it, though, uh, with some nail polish remover. Um, so that nothing, you know, gets in the monomer that's not supposed to be in there. But other than that, you know, it's fine. It's still somewhat clean. So we're going to pour some of this in here. All right, I think we're, I think we're ready. Now, I'm gonna put the top on this because I can be really clumsy sometimes. We're gonna put three drops of this in it to see if it changes the smell. One, two, three. I wanna think it's just three to five, so. Oh! I actually smell it. I can still smell the monomer, but I smell it. Okay, this is not that bad. All right, so now we're going to actually get ready to do the acrylic. So this is really all you need and your steady hands. So I'm going to do the left hand on camera because I'm right-handed, so I can do the left hand better. And I'm going to do the other hand off camera. And I'll come back to show you guys the end result and what design I decided to do. I'm actually going to be using this polish it was like seven dollars at walmart um it's a color changing polish and this is what it looks like um when it's cold so yeah i want to do a dark color so that's the color i picked it didn't have walmart didn't have the orange and yellow color changing polish i wanted so i just got that one so i'm going to get another napkin and then we can start acrylic application so um we're right here can you guys see that we're right here so apply a nail primer to natural nail surface only. We already did that. Let dry, okay. Pour acrylic liquid into the dampen dish. Add three to five drops of the Apple Fresh. Um, we already did that. Um, okay, now on to getting ready to apply to the nail. And I'm gonna do my thumb first because I always do this one first. It says, dip acrylic brush into liquid mixture and stir slightly. So this is gonna clean the brush. And I like to do it like this, so not too much liquid is in the brush and wasting. All right, and now it says mix and stir slightly. I did that, wipe brush onto paper towel, did that. Um, brush is now prepared for application, okay. Dip brush into acrylic liquid, um, and then into acrylic powder until a small white ball forms on the end of the brush. Place acrylic ball mixture onto nail at a padding motion. Use two to three balls to, in, to cover entire nail. So 
surface. Note, remove any acrylic that gets on your cuticle or skin with the manicure stick. All right, I read ahead a little bit so we can know what we do. So let me move this over some. This right here, this black little pot is nail polish remover. You don't need that. I just have it there in case my brush starts to get stuck and the acrylic starts building up in the brush. I have it there because I can clean it. So I'm about to show you guys how I do it. Whew, I get some on the brush. Form a ball. And then I apply it like this. And I, then I wipe like that. I'm not a pro at this. I'm still learning. So I just do whatever um, helps me best. Alright. As you can see, it is a little bumpy right there, but I mean, it's okay because we still need to get some at the tip. So I'll probably apply the next ball here and then move that way. But, um, yeah, that's that. And I do start at the bottom because that's where the nail um, meets with my real nail. So, yeah, keep that in mind. That's how I do it. I like to do that to the powder. So it can get back fine because the um, powder, once you get the bead, it does, uh, you know, have a little spot in it because that's where you picked up the bead. So I do like to pat, hold on, I'm trying to be focused right now. His TV is so loud, guys. Sorry about that. So I basically showed you how I do one nail. Um, and of course, the filing and buffing does wonders. I don't have like an electric file, so I just do what I can. So, yeah. So after each time I get a bead, as you can see, there's like a little hole. I just do that so it can go back fine. So that's one nail, and I'm going to finish this hand off camera because you guys basically know how I do it. You can, of course, watch YouTube videos. Those also help. Um, make sure to clean your brush. So I'm going to at least get one bead on all these nails, and I'll come back um, to show you guys how far I got. Okay, guys, so this is what they look like with the acrylic on them. Um... That is from the brush. These little hairs you see are from the brush. Um, I didn't get them out the acrylic fast enough because I wasn't really worried about them that much. I was just trying to make sure to get the bead down so it won't dry up on me. But um, let me just cut that little hair. But I'm gonna cover it up with nail polish anyway. So they don't look the best, but that's because we haven't started filing and shaping them. So um, I'm not. You know, I'm still learning how to do acrylic. Acrylic is something that's going to take time to um, uh, conquer or, like, uh, achieve. So, oops, sorry. I'm still learning, and I'm still trying to get better at it. But um, we have a base down. We have the base of acrylic down. So now um, I'm going to do some filing and buffing, and hopefully... Well, not hopefully. I know that that will help um, the shape better. Um, also, if you have a e-file, uh, which is the, um, the electric one, you can go ahead and use that. That will be that would help you so much better. But I don't have one, so I'm just going to use a lot of files and a buffer, and I'm going to try to get these as smooth and straight as possible. So just remember what they look like, and then um, so yeah, I'll be back. Also, guys, wash your hands after you file and buff the nails. Okay, guys, so it is the next day, and the reason why I'm filming this the next day is because one of my friends that I'm in the group chat with started a FaceTime, so I got on FaceTime with them because I didn't want to decline it, and um, so I was on FaceTime with them for, like, a long time until, like, some in the morning. So while I was on FaceTime with them, I finished my 
uh, right hand like I told you guys I was going to do, which I said I was doing it off camera. But I made sure to not do my left hand so I can come back and do it with you guys and for you guys. So like I said, I'm using this polish. And um, I have a design I want to do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to just show you it right now. This is the design that I did on the right hand. It's not focusing. So that's what I'm doing on my left. So that's why I have this stamping plate here because we are going to be using that, um, this design right here. Um, and I have the stamping polish, the stamper. So first, let me show you my um, left hand. This is my left hand, no polish as you guys can see. So I'm doing this hand for you guys today. Um, I know the background of my uh, desk um, is dirty. I told you guys that already. Um, my desk is small actually when I got it I did not know I was gonna have so much stuff building up on this desk since I started doing my nails I've been collecting a lot more stuff so my desk is crowded so I do need to get a bigger desk so it is a little messy even on behind um, what I'm showing you right here but don't mind that please and thank you so um, yeah let's get started Okay guys, so I'm going to start off with one coat on all of them. Um, yes, they're going to need more than one coat. I think I'm going to do three because uh, I think that's how many I did on the other hand. But this is the color it looks like when it's um, cold, if you didn't know. I will try to insert a clip of what they look like in water. I know my painting is a little messy and that's because I'm trying to make sure you guys can see yes the angle is different and that's because I can't find um, the thing that holds my phone on the tripod uh, yesterday when I filmed this half the other half of this video when I actually showed you how to do the acrylic um, I told you guys that um, well I didn't tell you guys but as you can see I came back the next day which is today and um, Yesterday when I was um, doing this, my phone fell off the tripod and I left it there so I can finish shaping my nails. And that's when my friend called me. So I don't know where the piece went, but that's the first layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other four and I'll come back. Um, I guess after I have all three layers done because you basically already know what it looks like. And then I'm gonna show you guys what and why. Um, well, you already know why I have this here, but I'm gonna show you what we're doing on this nail. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the stamp. So, you put the white polish on which one you want, like this, and I'm sorry, this is the best angle I can give you. And again, if you can hear music in the background, it's my brother's room. He's listening to music. So, I can't find my scraper, so I'm just gonna use a credit card, and I'm gonna try, Ooh, no, let me do it this way. Ooh. Sorry, this is hard to do with a little space and my nails are still kind of wet. So you just need to scrape it enough. And this does take a couple tries. If you can't get it on the first time, don't be mad. That's what it look, turned out to be like. Do I like that? Nah, it's too thin. So what I do is I get a piece of... Um, I get a piece of tape and I take it off the stamper and I clean this off with nail polish remover. So that's what I'm about to do.
gonna use this top coat for all the ones that doesn't have the design on it and we're gonna use this one because it's thick for the one with the stamping design on it because if you use a thin top coat on um, stamping plate designs it will smear because it's thin so make sure to use a thick top coat so I'm going to top coat these nails and then I'll show you a clip um, that will basically end off this video of what the final final look looks like of both hands and how they look in water